Hello everyone, Flaming Blue Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And on the last episode, we beat Dark Hammer and got the amazing ball and chain. And now remember that enemy that we had to use a cannonball for? Yeah, we can kill it directly. I will show how to kill them right now. So, lamb, lamb. And now it just turns into Freezards. Or tiny Freezards. Ah. I hate these things. But we will be coming back to that later, so let's just go on in here. I could really, really speedrun this dungeon pretty easily. And here's another one of these knights. Just hit him with the ball and chain one hit kill. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it. It's like. Oh, um, we're like the hardest enemy in this temple. Uh, oh, no. You're wrong. You just got killed in one hit by a ball and chain. What you want to do is hit the chandelier with the ball and chain. Hop over. Hop back. And we get a small key. Which honestly look better than any small keys in the Zelda series. And yes, those are ice keys. Who I will promptly kill. And I'm just gonna claw shot back. Over here. Come on. There we go. And now we can head on back to the room. The room. Not that terrible movie, The Room. Just The Room. So, since we got that key just now, we can unlock this door. And now, ah, uh, this guy. This guy's worse than any other one of them, so. Can I hit him from over here? I'm just gonna wait till he comes over. Then I'm gonna. What just happened there? Anyway, this guy likes to be a jerk. And when he looks at you, he does that. He throws his eyes javelin. Yes! I didn't have to get mad at you, game. I'm so fun. I'm fond of. I'm really fond of this dungeon now because I remember I used to have so much trouble on it. But now there are a ton of freezards, which you can promptly kill in one or two goes. Goes really? Break this and what is behind? Oh, po. Pose that I'm not going to get. Because I don't even like collecting the pose holes. Even though if you collect 20, you get the um, final bottle in the game. So that's the only honestly good thing about it. And you can actually hit the um, things with the ball and chain, and you can move on. But here we are now back in this room. Remember this room? This one block had ice on it. And the switch had ice on it, so we can break those. If I can remember how to do this right, then I will be happy. So, what you want to do? Grab it and push it over. And it goes on that. Oh, I remember this now. Okay, this one's actually kind of fun. Just push it over there, where the other one was. Because, um... Again, I like to thank the, um, not think, thank the, um, the Hidden Triforce for, um, helping me in this LP just by making their walkthrough overall. So, yeah. It would make some sense, but, oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. Yeah, I remember. Push that over there. I pretty much forgot to get it where the last one was. That's the one we just pushed. Was. So I'm gonna just push that back. There we go. I think this is what we're intended to do. Or not. Okay. Okay then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Huh? Uh, it's an ice pun. 
It's a very nice pun you got there. Let's push that. Yay, we did it correctly. Now, finally, push that over. Hooray, I did it. And they were pretty much, what, two thirds? No, maybe three fourths of the way through this dungeon. And we're only like 20 minutes into it. So yeah, this dungeon's kind of short. If you know what to do, I don't know why people even hate this dungeon. Because people are like, oh, this dungeon is so annoying and hard to navigate. For me, uh-uh. It is not hard to navigate at all. In any way, at all. And I just popped my leg and it's not good. Is this the room I am thinking of? Uh, Get close to him. Ball and chain. Sucker. And there are two more of these. Ow. Aha! I didn't know you could actually block with the ball and chain. But now I know. Um, and what did that do? What did that do? Oh, yeah. Can we climb? No, we can't. I don't remember what that was supposed to do. Uh. Um. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. There's a claw shot thing. Here. Then we can look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I. I'm not going to make that pun ever again, because that was terrible. Remember that pun, guys? Don't you remember it? What you want to do is do that, and then just lock onto this and wait till it slows down a lot. So you don't have to screw up. <laughs> I'm waiting till it slows down all the way. Okay, it's almost slowed. Boosh. Then hop on over. Then hop on over. And is that... I think this is a small key, isn't it? Or rupees, I think. Nope, small key. I guess so. Just open this up. Oh, I remember now. Upset. There we go. Finally, after like 10 minutes. Jesus. There we go. I know. I know what to do. Two freeze arts. Very annoying. Unless you have the ball and chain, which I do. Even though you can't even get here without the ball and chain. Still kind of annoying. To get froze. Over and over. And over. Like that. Bloosh. Bloosh. You die. And I don't care about you guys. So, what you want to do is just knock both of those down. Go over here to where I left my cannonball. That's where I showed you how to get it. Actually, what you want to do is do this. And beat those two guys to death. Then, this is actually, we're very near the boss. So what I want to do is do this. I got my bombs. But what you really want to do first is go over here. Or is not go over here, but push it over there. Make sure that it lands over there. Let's just do that. Let's see where it goes. Yay, it goes all the way in there, which is good. Usually doesn't do that. So I'm... Kind of lucky on that part. I don't like you, Freeze Arts. Freeze Arts, stop Freeze Arting me. So it's like Blizzaga in the Final Fantasy games. You know, I'm not really a fan of the Final Fantasy series, but. Yay, we are really close to the boss here. So, I'm gonna. Again, I get to do this in one take. Not one take, but. One, no, two episodes. I probably could put it all in one, but that would take hours to render. So, yes. 
first. Hop on here. But then you want to move it completely two times. Now move it over there. Keep it moving. Put it at that big freeze art over there. Now, drop it in. And, guess what? It kills him, and that is actually... And there is where the boss key is. So... Hop over. And you might realize this, or you might remember this room, from one of the hub rooms. This is in one of the hub rooms. So, yes. I keep saying so, yes. And now that we've killed that guy, we can go up here. And here is my least favorite room in this whole dungeon and the next one. You will know why I said the next one too. And guess what? There are icicles coming from the ceiling. I think you can break them from up here. Virtue is not going to help you either. And guess what we finally get? If it's another... This was a Yay! Bedroom key! And now we can finally, 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 finally... Get to our most wanted mirror shard. What I like about this dungeon is that it pretty much has a... Kinda has a story. It's not just do puzzles and find stuff. This one actually has, you know, stuff to do. Not stuff to do, but pretty much has stuff happening. But now, just open this. Aw, the heart broke. Aw. And now Yetta is up here somehow. Because she walks pathetic or slow. So, hi Yetta. Thank you, you come inside. Yay, we're inside now. You know it didn't look like that door would open upwards? Please, this way. Huh? What are you doing? <gasps> Ooh, mirror shard. What's up? Here, mirror, you look at it. Uh. Aw, oh, that's so pretty. Ah, oh, so pretty. I meant the music was pretty. Pretty. Ah, oh, so pretty. Um, you kind of turn dark. And you, um, pretty, pretty mirror. Lovely. Um, you're kind of shaking there, too. Um, oh my god! Ah! Not take mirror! Uh, unexpected boss. I love this song too. I love the organ. And the bells. For whom the bell tolls? But whom would that be? It is, and that thing has a face on it. It would be the Twilight Ice Mask Blizzetta. Ah! Easiest boss in the game. Just smack with your ball and chain. Over and over. That's it. Ow, you suck, Blizzetta. Even though I said you're kind of easy to beat, because you are vaguely. <laughs> I love doing the little chorus. No! Denied! And if you notice, every time you hit her, she gets vaguely, not vaguely, kinda big and small. Oh, oh, he dropped hearts. He dropped hearts. Let me get those. God. Ah, oh, guess we win. So, uh, um, gotta do a Chewbacca. Oh my God. Ah, where's that heart? Must get hearts all over. They're all over. I love this song. Ow. 
What you want to do is just hit them. That's not actually how you damage Blazetta. It's kind of an easy way to damage Blazetta. Oh, thank God he dropped hearts. Thank you. But what you really want to do is... There were nine left. Guess not. Oh, run, run, run like run. Haha, -ha, gotcha. And then she summons more rinse and repeat. And I love how you pretty much chip away at the ice around. Yeah. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ice cubes! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm crazy. Nope. Denied. Denied! Oh. Thought I could have hit her. Hit her. I love ice. I just love ice. Up, sir, ma'am, madam. Boosh. Yeah, pretty much you only gotta do it three times, so. This recording has been 30 minutes long just because I got lost. Amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop hitting me. Why did I pause? I love the or I love just organs overall. Not the organs that are inside of your body, because that would be creepy. I wanna is there Oh, I love this part of the song especially. But five, six, seven, eight. Ah ha ha. Huh? Oh if I die here, I'm going to be so ticked off. Boom! You are done. I don't know how she spazzes out here. Aww. Kind of feel bad for her. It reminds me of a Majora's Mask dungeon to me. Like this whole dungeon reminds me of Majora's Mask for some reason. Just the, the name, especially Snowhead, Snow Peak. It's always the snow with this game. <clears throat> I don't know why it is. But now we get our second mirror shard with somehow strings. Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two more left link. Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. I think that the mirror of twilight has the power to change people like that. Sword, all worlds can be cruel. Wise word from a person who's not who's out of this world I guess I guess that's what you'd call it but you know let's go ahead and search for the two that remain um oh god <laughs> uh, what, what's wrong with me oh love very strange you just dreaming uh Yeto, Mira, you cave. No. Forget Mira, Yeta. No, look into the eyes of Yeto. You're staring into my soul. Look, a reflection of Yeto's eyes. Their true beauty. Ooh. Aww. Who need Mira? My love. Uh. Aww. Nowhere near as touching as the, um, Andrew Cafe side quest, but th this is a good alternative. And they give us a heart container. Out of their love! And watch. You can steal their love and their heart container. So yeah, now we have 13 hearts. I'm stealing your love! And this is actually kind of funny, if you talk to them. Love you. Uh, uh, love you too. And they let out a heart. 
Now let's leave. Yeah, I'm positive. I did forget the two hard pieces, but I get those off screen. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Elmo! I don't know. I did make a Sesame Street reference earlier, but... You want to save? Yes. So on the next episode, let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We will um, go on our search for the third mirror shard piece. I'll see you guys then.